What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here with another Saturday Skills Session. In this video, we're working on getting a better pass. I've been working at the Muskoka Hockey School for the past few weeks and I've noticed a lot of the newer players are having a really tough time catching passes in their feet or farther away. And I have a really simple tip that's gonna help any player get more passes. Basically what you're gonna do is expand the area where you can successfully take a puck and receive it. I've noticed this one small thing that all these players are doing wrong and if you just practice this, you're gonna get much more passes on your stick and that's gonna help you get more goals. First, let me show you why you might be missing a lot of passes. Let's go. What I've been seeing is players keeping the exact same grip on their stick no matter where the puck comes to them. As much as we all love to get a perfect tape to tape pass, we all know that's not gonna happen every single time. So we need to be able to adjust and catch the puck with our blade flat on the ice. But by keeping that same grip on the stick, it's just not gonna happen. So this right here could be the perfect tape to tape pass. Let's say one comes out a little too far. If you're keeping the exact same grip on your stick and you reach out for that, you're only gonna be able to catch it with the heel of the stick. Same thing if we try to catch a puck in our feet. If you keep that exact same grip on your stick and you lift up like that to try to catch the puck, you only have the toe of the stick on the ice. Shifting my body weight and just keeping my hands at the same level keeps that blade flat on the ice. But the second tip that helps you really quickly catch passes, especially if they come right into your feet, is by changing the grip on your hands. Keeping a loose bottom hand on the stick and then sliding the stick through that bottom hand. So you can see right here to grab this puck, I have a narrow grip on my hands and then to catch this one, it's a neutral grip. And to catch a puck that's coming into your feet, you have to do two things. One is to slide that stick through so you can see that grip widens. The second thing is to get a little bit lower to the ice. So if I'm doing it wrong, you can see that this grip widens, but my top hand is coming up. Whenever that top hand comes up, that means you're lifting the heel of the blade off the ice. So you need to widen that grip, but just slide your hand out. And you can do that easily by just bending this leg just a little bit like that getting nice and low. By practicing this skill, no matter where that puck comes, you can always keep your blade flat on the ice, and that's gonna greatly increase your chances of getting that pass and getting that puck on your stick. There's a second technique that works really well to help keep the puck on the blade of your stick, and all it involves is an active top hand. By activating your top hand, it's gonna help you cup the puck and keep it in an area where you can control it. So I'm gonna show you that technique, and then we're gonna do some drills. For this technique to work, all you have to do is roll that top hand and that's gonna keep the blade flush to the ice. Now, for this to work, you have to make sure you're holding the stick properly. Some of the players I see are gripping the stick underneath or to the side. Just go like this, reach over top of the stick and grab it, and that's gonna make sure that you can properly move that stick. That's gonna help you with stick handling as well. So, let's try this a few times. To practice this technique, just slide the stick through that bottom hand and then roll that top hand. Now you can see that the blade is flush on the ice. What's gonna happen here is because it's flush, when the puck hits that blade and it's rolled over like that, it's instantly just gonna bring the puck in close to where you want it anyways. Let's get to the drills. Practicing this skill is pretty simple. All you need is someone to pass a puck or a ball to you, or you need something that can pass a puck or a ball to you. So I have the Extreme Passer Pro from Hockey Shot. That's what I'm gonna be using. But if you don't have that, just be creative. Use a tennis ball, a hockey ball, just shoot it up against the wall. It's gonna come back and then you can practice. Or you can use a puck and maybe an old tire. Just find something that you can bank a puck or a ball off of and then start practicing. Let's go. First we'll practice reaching out and closing the gap on the hands while keeping the blade flush on the ice and using that top hand to pull the puck back in. So do this, start in a good position, bank the puck or ball off of the object so that it comes out further away from you. So you start with that neutral grip that you're used to and then you have to quickly push the stick through that hand and pull it back. Let's go. Now we're gonna practice catching the puck in our feet. Remember, you don't lift your hands up like that. You keep them at the same level that you normally stick handle at. You just shift your body weight and slide that hand through. It looks like this.
there's a few tips to help you get the puck on your blade more often. Go out there and practice, and if it helps you in a game, let me know in the comments section. I love to hear your feedback. If you're looking for more videos to improve your skills, just hit that subscribe button. I make new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Boom. See that switch? Right, he had a narrow grip, and then he switched to a wide grip. Easy pass back. Right there, drop the hand lower, get low. Always have the blade flat on the ice. Change the position of his bottom hand. It's a little higher up. He slid it down, return that pass perfectly.